Well, guys, here we have it. 65 gigabytes and $35 later, we've got ourselves the Star Wars Classic Collection with a beautiful-ish filter that makes everything somewhat HD. They claim 4K. I don't have a 4K monitor, but even HD, it, it's, a, it's a little underwhelming. All right, now this is a little bit more like it here, baby. Look at that retexture. Oh my goodness, and for only 10 gigabytes. And if you buy this on Instant Gaming, only a buck 79. That's right, this is the original Star Wars Battlefront 2 for PC with the Harrison Fog Remastered mod. So, you can go ahead and install this for a buck 79 on Instant Gaming. Incredible deal. And then you go ahead and download Harrison Fogg's mod for free, and it costs you a total of 10 gigabytes. <laughs> yeah, that's 55 gigabytes left than the, uh, the supposed remaster of the Star Wars Classic Collection, which, by the way, might have stolen assets from another modder in it, according to some articles, and Aspire is lying about that, so that's insane in and of itself, but it looks just so much better. Look at this, and they have lore accurate clone trooper legions depending on what planet you are on. Of course, we got the 332nd, oh no, this is the 327th, that was a few numbers off right there. Star Core on Fallujah, beautiful. So yeah, boys, today we're going to be comparing Harrison Fogg's HD remaster mod. Link in the description below if you want to go ahead and check it out. He sent over the newest version to me yesterday when he saw that I was making some more Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection videos. So huge shout out to Harrison Fogg for suggesting this video idea. I'm very, very excited to be doing this. Uh, hit the like button, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. But as you can see, Felucia is incredible looking. A little team kill right there. Doesn't matter too much. Doesn't matter too much. Oh my god, we're about to... No, oh, I missed! I missed so bad! Come on, this one? This one? Loop it around? Loop it around? Yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Jingle Fett, you do not stand a chance, homie! You do not stand a chance, my guy! Oh, absolutely rolled! Okay, I'm having maybe a little too much fun in this, and it just looks absolutely gorgeous as we are playing right here. Not gonna lie. So, why don't we go ahead and, uh bring ourselves back down to earth and check out some more of the Star Wars classic collection made by Aspire here. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. One little thing of note is that they made the instant action menu completely horrible. Um, I do want to go ahead and check out Camino here uh, because it's so iconic. One of the most cinematically beautiful maps in all of Star Wars Battlefront history. Honestly, this one is so iconic to me from the OG series that I really wanted to check this out in both the Classic Collection as well as, of course, the Remaster mod. So we're going to go ahead and check it out here. Obviously, I mean, a lot going on in this. You got, you got the water textures down below, which look like a PNG they added Wave to. <laughs> Does not look fantastic right there. Uh, these bots are not fighting, <laughs> like, at all. Okay, AI. You know what, though? It's it's still probably the same AI from Star Wars Battlefront 2, the OG, so I can't really complain to Aspire for that. You know, it, you know the, the complaints can only go so far. Let's try out Obi-Wan here a little bit, though. All right, he looks like... He doesn't look like an Obi-Wan. He looks like a Todd. Look at the way his ears poke out from behind his hair. He looks like a total geek. Yeah, they, they, they miffed it. They did not do a great job with this classic collection, guys. 
I think we already knew that, though. I, I do think we already knew that. And honestly, this will probably be one of the last videos I do ripping on the Star Wars Classic Collection, uh, unless some more crazy stuff does come out. I, I mean, the whole stealing mods thing is pretty crazy, uh, but I didn't think it warranted an entire video. I figured I'd just mention it in this video. But yeah, beyond that, I'm probably going to stop ripping on the Classic Collection so much. Uh, I will do some more Star Wars news videos, though, because I've had a ton of fun covering Star Wars again. If anything, the one good thing I can say about the Star Wars Classic Collection is it reinvigorated my love for Star Wars gaming. It, it made me realize how passionate I was about it, and, uh, you know, I sort of receded into just Star Wars mods for a while because of how disappointing the gaming in Star Wars had been. The landscape had been somewhat ruined by these companies. And the Classic Collection, I mean, is another example of that, but at the very least, it did reinvigorate my love for talking about Star Wars gaming and playing the good games and revisiting mods that truly do inspire, such as Harrison Fox. Okay, beautiful. Let's move on and check out Kamino. Um, take your last gander at this. Uh, I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but let's see it in a, in a real remaster. All right. I mean, already it feels so much more immersive. The textures on the water look way better. It actually changes a little bit with the waves in the wake. <laughs> um, it is Phase 1, though, because uh, Harrison Fogg made it into the Phase 1 Clone Troopers instead of the 501st. Uh, but already, I mean, things look better. That's Django right there. Obi-Wan actually looks like Obi-Wan. It actually looks like Ewan McGregor instead of Todd. <laughs> Jedi Todd. Oh, Jango Fett, you suck, bro. Uh, also, apparently, we were supposed to check out the first person because, yeah, that is... Oh, that looks so good. Oh, it looks so much better than before. He just added uh, some of this stuff recently, I guess, to the mod. Uh, I haven't checked it out in like a year, so there's a lot of new stuff just for me in general. Ooh! Is it just me or is the AI a little bit better? I don't know. I can't tell what's just me nitpicking at this point and what is actually so much better. Uh, because the difference really is night and day, but at the same time, it's like, well, maybe the AI in the Classic Collection was just not exactly <laughs> trying their hardest on that day, and, and it's the same here. I, I'm not entirely sure, but it does feel like there's a lot more action going on right now, and I have all the settings completely the same. Oh, we can play as Obi-Wan now, and yeah, it actually looks like Ewan McGregor instead of looking like Todd the Jedi. <laughs> I mean, the difference is so stark. It's such a stark difference here. I'm so glad Harrison Fox said this to me because I needed a reminder of what we could have had. <laughs> I mean, truly. I was asking him, like, hey, man, you, you might as well just make Star Wars Battlefront 3 at this point. Um, and he was like, well, you know, my idea is to make it Star Wars Battlefront 2.5. Make it the OG Star Wars Battlefront 2, but make it just, like, that much better that you'd only want to ever play with this mod on. And leave the Battlefront 3 stuff to the Legacy Modders, which, you know, I think is very humble, because this is, this is straight up beautiful and might as well be Star Wars Battlefront 3 at this point with how sick it looks. I mean, this is incredible. But let's go ahead and check out some more planets. I think we got to go into the Galactic Civil War now and check that out, see how it looks in both. I mean, you know we gotta check out one of the best maps in the game, Hoth. Um, although, I, the difference between the actual game texture and the wallpaper they're using in the background is like night and day. The coloring is completely off and it really does just make it look like they slapped a painting behind it. What, I don't remember it always being that way in the OG Star Wars Battlefront 2. I don't, I don't know, is that just me? But... <laughs> It looks pretty bad. It's it's just, it's not the right coloring. I mean, how hard is it to just, you know, go in Photoshop and make the background a little bit more like tan snow? Oh my god, I'm playing like trash. I'm playing like trash. I'm gonna get bullied in the comments. Come on. Come, come. Oh, that was, that was, so, I'm sorry. That was sad. I mean, it's just so great to see the AT-ATs back in action right there. There's the ATSD getting in on the action as well. And if anything, honestly, this makes me want to go back and play the EA Star Wars Battlefronts again, too. <laughs> this, I mean, it's been just so fun playing Star Wars Battlefront again. Even if it is lackluster in terms of everything we got here, it, it, it is still just Star Wars Battlefront. And Star Wars Battlefront is just fun in general. So you can't go wrong with it. By the way, a, new, a news update on the uh, lobby counts currently going on in the classic collection there is currently one server with 30 people in it and uh everyone else has two to three you know folks in it and stuff like that so not exactly the best 
In addition to that, I just looked it up. There are currently 700 players in the game right now. Uh, so that is a pretty stark fall off from this weekend where there was 1800 players playing. And even that was a pretty staunch fall off from earlier in the week uh, when there was a total of, I think it was like 8,000 players simultaneously or something like that on PC only, by the way. So uh, yeah, from 8,000 to 700, although it is, you know, Monday night, so I mean, I guess there's that. Like, you know, it is it is a Monday, so there's that too. All right, let's check out the remaster. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, well, that might be a bit of an error. <laughs> okay, that that tauntaun's all sorts of messed up. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I'm talking about, where the backsplash matches the foreground so much better here. It, like, really, really does. And, again, the HD textures are noticeably better. I'd say more noticeable on Kamino. And I will say the... Eh, I mean, the Rebel textures look a little doofy. Like, the bodies kind of all blend into one there. Uh, and the Storm... Snow Trooper, maybe his head... Oh, my game crashed. Okay, not... You know what? Fair play. Not... Hoth might not be the best. <laughs> All right, now obviously we need to try some space assault here. So again, this is the classic collection here. Uh, and I have to say, I have not played any Space Wars in the classic collection or in regular Star Wars Battlefront 2 uh, since the launch. It's just not something I could find in the servers. Really, I could only find uh, ground assault battles and stuff like that. So actually getting in here is pretty sweet. Uh, obviously, I'm having a little bit of a trouble actually flying the ship uh but there you go no hud by the way no first person hud on the lats there uh and that's something that harrison fogg told me to check out because he did add some new really cool looking huds uh to the lats in this so oh come on oh it's such a slow ship okay there we go that's what we want we want to get in here we want to get in here let's go baby yes this was my favorite thing to do in Star Wars Battlefront 2. This was my favorite, is to get in here and go nuts and get into... All right, we should just go. Uh, get into their, like, reactor core stuff and attempt to blow it up with time bombs. This was, like, my absolute favorite. You can also go ahead and kill the droids there. Beautiful. All right, we need to kill the auto defense mainframe. Uh, I know the turrets are shooting me. All right, hold on. Oh, that, that second bomb was no bueno. That second bomb was no good. Hold on, just keep moving. All right. Oh, no! Alright, the Mark IV repeater got me. But, the droids have not killed our lat that we parked in here, and that is a spawn point for us. Oh my god, this is what Star Wars Battlefront 2 is all about, baby! This is so fun! Alright, let's roll, let's roll. Alright, go, go, go. Our frigate has been destroyed, that's not good. Alright, let's kill their auto-defense mainframe here. Get that off, and then, there we go, killed that. There's a second one over here. Come on, come on, come on! Alright, overheat. There we go. All right. So we got the auto defense mainframe done. All right. Now you can come in here. And I remember the engine cooling tanks. Yes, sir. I always felt so, so sneaky doing this, bro. It's not letting me throw the second one. Oh, it let me throw it way after. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> we also have the fusion cutter, which I think will do damage to this, right? Yeah, it will. Oh, no. That's, that's repairing it. I just repaired the droid ship. Incredible. Well, that takes way too long. We need to find a gonk droid. Oh, Lord Glonk. Glonk. Lord Gunk, bless me with your sweet, sweet jibbles. Absolutely no droids are spawning in and trying to stop me right now, which is kind of surprising. Our shields are offline. Bro, what the heck? All right, let's pop that down there. Come on, come on. There we go. Pop that down there. Go, 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 go! I'm an idiot. Okay, let's try out the remaster. This is the exact same map, Space Kashyyyk, and already the difference is strong startling just from the background right there oh my god it is night and day holy cow and there you go there is the hud right there for the lat something that's not present in the other game oh my god this looks so good this actually looks so good man holy cow so much better all right we're gonna try i feel like i feel like the droids are better dude i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie ow 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 no stop it Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
I, I'm telling you, it feels like the AI is better. It feels like the AI is better. And my uh, Star Wars Classic Collection, I chose all of the hardest settings, by the way. It asks you what settings you want on your profile. I chose all the hardest ones. Dude, this looks so much better already. Holy cow. It is night and day difference. Let's go in here and check out what it looks like inside. Hello, boys. Why would I go for the guy sitting down? Why? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's actual resistance here. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Okay, hold on, hold on, the turrets. Come on! Not good. All right, it's okay. I think the medical droid's actually healing me, and he's behind this corner, so that is actually kind of a cheese spot right there. Really? Okay. It's cool, though, because we can go in as the clone marine here. They've still left our lat <laughs> just completely chill in there. Oh, the clone marines look so cool. Oh, they look so freaking cool, dude. Let's go. Okay. All right, push in. Look at that. We've actually got, like, a bit of an assault going on here. Very nice. All right. Good job, boys. Look at that. It just... That looks gorgeous. I think it's already destroyed, though. I don't... I don't see a health bar on it. All right, come on. Come on. Ooh, do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. Oh, it's, like... It's so much better looking on the interior of the ship, dude. It's incredible. All right, we got the rocket launcher here. Can we shoot through this? Nah. Nah. All right, here's the engine cooling tank. Uh, I do kind of like the green of the uh, the OG a little bit better because this just looks like back to tanks to me. But, I mean, still, everything around it just looks so much better in general. So, uh, pretty stark difference still. All right, going marine was definitely the play. Makes it so much easier to kill these. Uh, come on, one more rocket. Oh, really? Still not dead? There we go. We got it, baby. We got it, baby. Let's go. All right, the droids are back on their turrets here. I don't like that. I want to steal a droid ship, and I want to go ahead and use it against them because that would be really, really fun. Let, let's go. Let, look at you, look at you. What, what a champ. All right, we got to burst out here. Um, I always like tri droids. They're pretty fun. Yeah, I'm not gonna take a vulture. I'm gonna take a tri droid. Come on, frigate destroyed, boys. Let's go. All right, I am so bad at flying, dude. I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's see here. Ow! Oh, jeez. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm so bad. No! No! Ugh. Frustration! Frustration! Oh, I always get lost in space, dude. I'm the worst pilot, my guy. Come on. Come on. Oh, I did I just team kill one of my own guys by accident? There we go. I... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My my uh, my heat-seeking stuff is working a little bit. Nice, 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 nice. There's some shots. There's some shots. Let's go. We got him. We got him. Beautiful. All right. Now, the last uh, thing I want to check out is I want to do a heroes versus villains map in both. So, let's check it out. All right, boys. So, now... Oh, there's a Sauce Ventress, the, uh, the new hero. And we're playing as Kit Fisto, the other new hero, who has that incredible incredible ability i love it all right beautiful nice 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 all right so essentially uh we're gonna be able to test a glitch here which i thought it, it might actually already be patched because i thought for some reason on mose eisley whenever you're playing hero assault uh it would just constantly play the cantina music the entire time at blaring volume even if uh you had your music muted uh it seems like that is not the case anymore i am a fish burning to death so that might have gotten patched, but you should watch the uh, memes of it on TikTok and stuff like that. It is so funny. Uh, but it might also just be in the cantina where that was happening. So let's test that out as well. Either way, I really like the addition of Kit Fisto, and I love his uh, force ability. It's really fun. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You're just spamming. You're just cheesing. What the heck? <laughs> All right. Uh, I got to figure out a way into the canteen. I think there might be another entrance, but go, 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 go. Are we in there? Yep, it's playing! It's playing! <laughs> but it's not that blaring volume that it was playing on other people's stuff. Uh, but, I mean, I have music supposed to be turned off for copyright reasons, so... Uh, that should not be playing. I think the glitch might have been on the entire map before. I can't remember exactly. But yeah, it was a pretty prevalent glitch. Either way, let's go check out the remaster version now. Alright, and here we go. Let's play as uh, villains this time around. Of course, we do not get the Asajj Ventress. Maybe that'll be an addition in the future, though. But, I mean, already the heroes look so much better. <laughs> so much better. The map has so much more life to it as well. The colors, so much more beautiful, I will say. 
Oi, oi, stop it. Stop it now. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. I mean, this looks so much better, dude. It looks so much infinitely better. Infinitely better. What up? Lay up. Sit down. Get trashed. Oh, absolutely destroyed. We should check out the interior of the hangar, too. Chewie, get rolled, son. Get rolled. It would be cool if Harrison Fogg added the um, the ability to play as Asajj Ventress and Kit Fisto into the remaster. I don't know if he has plans for that, uh, but that would that would really complete it. That that would actually be really cool because I think those additions are awesome. I really, really do. Okay. Oh, yo, Lukey Pookie. Oh, Mace Windu. Come here, son. Come here. Oh, shut up, Luke, bro. Oh, my God. Finally, uh, the hero I used to love playing as as a kid, General Grievous, because he is just a beautiful little tanky baby with his double lightsaber. Oh, yeah, and then you get the quad. You get the quad out. Beautiful. All right. Use the buff. Woo! Kiati Mundi, you didn't stand a chance with your big forehead. All right, let's go around here. We Jedi hunting today, baby. We doing what Grievous does best. Jedi hunting. Uh, if you're a Jedi, I'm going to kill you. There's Chewie right there. Woo! All right, Chewie's kind of a beefy boy, though. I'm a little surrounded here. Darth Maul, help me out! Help me out! Okay, so the Cantina music does play here, even if you have music... Uh, muted as well, but I think the main part of the glitch was that it was playing everywhere in the map as well as just like extraordinarily loudly uh, So I think I just got the glitch like slightly wrong. Oh The lightning looks so much better in this too. It looks so much better. Oh, man <laughs> I am clearly a bad palpit. Oh mace. Oh, he's just mocking me by standing there. Oh my god uh, But yeah guys either way I just wanted to highlight this as a whole because it really is just a stark difference between what one single modder in Harrison Fogg can do versus what an entire team at Aspire is doing with allegedly stolen materials. Oh my god. You, you Who's got the high ground now? Apparently still you. So just kind of overall, uh, once again, just demonstrating how much of a disappointment the Battlefront remaster is, the classic collection. Um, I know the main draw of it is the multiplayer, but... The fact that the multiplayer doesn't even work super well still, and there's no one playing it, that's kind of like, well, what's left? The single player. And even the single player is worse than buying <laughs> Star Wars Battlefront 2, the OG, off of Instant Gaming for a buck seventy-nine, and then going and downloading a mod for it. That's just sort of the state of Star Wars gaming at the moment. I mean, honestly... I would not have been mad if Aspire went to Harrison Fogg, was like, yo, we'll give you, you know, 5% royalties for this game. Let us use your entire mod, and we'll do the multiplayer servers. I mean, that clearly wouldn't have worked either because the multiplayer servers don't work. But basically, just say, like, let us polish up your mod. We'll give you royalties. Or, hey, just a flat sum. I don't know if he would agree to this or what, you know, I don't, I don't know. But go through that. And just release, the, like, work with modders. I don't know why big game companies, except for Valve, have such a problem working with their modders and hiring modders. Valve is the one that is just, like, beautiful because they have hired so many modders in the past. Um, it's really pretty cool. But every other major game company has such a problem with actually hiring modders to use them. And this would have been just such a slam dunk, man. To be able to show off these graphics and, you know, all this detailing and stuff like that would have been worth worth the money. 100% worth the money. Less work for them. All they need to do is, you know, fix a few glitches and, and polish up a few things. And then work on the multiplayer and actually get it to a working level. That's it. That's all you would have had to do. Yeah, you like it when I choke your little fur friend? You like that, Obi-Wan? Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be about it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Check out Harrison Fogg. Link in the description below to his Patreon. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.